Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. How exciting to have snow. I know we had a little bit of snow in yesterday's video for my birthday celebrations, but this is... We have woken up to a whiteout, as I mentioned. Um, yesterday was a really, really nice day. You'll have seen... I don't think I really spoke, but at the end of yesterday's vlog, we which was Sunday, we basically went to Soho Farmhouse in the afternoon, it started snowing there, we were sat, I was with M, Emily and Matt, um, we went for a, a dinner at Penyan, um, and it's, which is the Japanese restaurant down by the pool, and it started to snow and it was so magical, and it basically snowed really, really lightly all the evening, so it feels so festive here today. I've currently got the drone charging, um, so I might just send that up if I can find a memory card because the drones need little tiny baby memory cards. And then because I feel like it'll probably be snowier up on the top of the hills, I think I'm going to use that as my excuse to drive to Dalesford, get myself a chai latte, and I mean that is the most excessive <laughs> reason to go to Dalesford, but I think it'll be lovely there. Um, and then I'm basically gonna snuggle up and put a Christmas film on in the background and do some work by the fire. I have also, I do have to leave the house again later on though because I've got a nail appointment. I'm actually going to ask Hayley to file my nails really low down um, so that they get strong hopefully and grow in time for Christmas because, sorry, it's probably very boring but I have got, can you see that ginormous crack? And I think it's because my nails are just getting too long. But her nails were too long. Anyway, so I've got on. I need some lipstick. They try to put me on the cover of Vogue. There we go. Bare Minerals Mineralist. Nice and balmy. So I'm going to accessorize for the day. I've just popped on my ring, which I've been wearing non-stop lately because it kind of slightly matches the strap for my watch. Um, this is a Monica Vinader. And... I think I've got the matching earrings somewhere. <laughs> I need to have a jewellery organisation because my jewellery drawer is just looking a little bit crazy right now and I want to be able to see all my beautiful pieces so that I can wear my favourites and actually see where they are. But Monica Vinader have very, very kindly extended a 20% off discount code just for you guys, which is so generous and your perfect opportunity to pick up any last minute gifting pieces, Christmas, for anything else you might be celebrating or a little treat for yourself. So to celebrate, I'm going to share with you a few of my absolute favourites from Monica Veneta. You may have seen in the reel, I'll pop it up on the screen here that I post on my Instagram, um, that I wore this beautiful necklace for my birthday and this one is a very delicate flat snake chain with the big pearl on there. Could also look really lovely over knitwear. Let's see, is my neckline potentially a little bit too big for this today? I mean, you can imagine if you had um, a slightly less dramatic neckline, or even with this, how nice to just have that subtle pearl and chain hanging down below your cozy knit neckline. I'm going to leave that on for today because that looks absolutely gorgeous. What a subtle little hint because I always think with cozy knitwear it's just like one big block of material so you really need to accessorise it well. This is another favourite that you might have spotted that I've been wearing all over my birthday weekend. Monica Vinder for me really is like a special birthday jewellery. I'll show you some of the bits that I received for my birthday um, and it's kind of like a twisted almost like a knitted effect ring. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. And because they're both very flat rings, they're very practical as well for wearing every single day. Um, and then, these are my birthday earrings. I actually got these from my mum for my birthday last year, so my 29th birthday last year. And to this day, they are my favourite earrings. I love to wear them for special occasions. And these are actually from the first Doina collaboration. The shape of the pearl is a little bit more of a kind of standard pearl shape, whereas the one on the necklace is a little bit more of an organic pearl shape. A lot of the things within the Doina collaboration that she did with Missima, you can mix and match. So I do actually, for example, have 
this bracelet from the Doina collection. And say for example, I wanted to have a more organic pearl shape in the earrings, you could wear these earrings just as little hoops. So you get, um, you can buy them just as hoops, but you can also buy them with the pearls. So if that's the little hoop there, I've taken the organic shaped pearl from the bracelet and then I can pop that, in fact, I might do this today, pop that on the earring. Ooh, I've not done that before, but that looks really, really nice. You've got the gold hoop and then the organic shaped pearl. You can really mix and match. Or of course, I could take the big organic pearl off this necklace and add the simple pearl. There's so many different things you can do. And then something else I love to do because pearls, as you know, I just am obsessed with. I think they look so elegant. Here's another beautiful natural pearl shape on a really simple chain. This is another really lovely one as a kind of everyday piece. And what else do we have? My gorgeous friendship bracelet. The Fiji friendship bracelets are just iconic for Monica Vinader. I haven't got this one engraved yet. You guys will know if you've been around these parts for a while that I love to engrave my Monica Vinader pieces and so many of the milestones in my career, I have engraved a bracelet either before getting that milestone as my way of manifesting that particular achievement to happen. Probably haven't spoken about it in a while, so a really, really quick um, rundown. What I would basically do is get the Monica Finita Fiji Friendship Bracelets engraved with the number that I wanted to achieve subscriber-wise on YouTube. So I got one engraved that said 100,000, in fact, Did I mention, I feel like a pirate, that I have been a Monica Veneta fangirl for many, many years? Which one's this? So this one says, oh no, it's not that one, um, but I do love, I don't even know if they do these ones anymore. A lot of my older bracelets are rose gold, but I'm really glad that I didn't um, swap them all out for yellow gold because my watch is more of a rose gold colour. Um, Another gorgeous bangle. I'm just gonna create a cluster. And yes, you can absolutely mix old and new yellow gold with rose gold. You can actually take your Monica Vinander bits into the store to get them cleaned. And I think I'm gonna do that um, next time I go into London because this one's probably about four years old and it definitely does need a clean. This is one of my favorites. This one, this one is actually 400,000. Yeah, it does need a clean, but hopefully you can see on the back here, um, that this is engraved. This says 400,000. Where's my 100,000 bracelet? It's around somewhere, but basically I would get the Monica Vinader bracelets engraved with the milestone that I was hoping to achieve, and I would put in my diary the date that I was going to give myself that bracelet, so the date that I would achieve these goals. And, um, sorry, I know some of you will have heard this story so many times before, but when I had around 40,000 subscribers, I bought myself a Monica Vinita Fiji friendship bracelet and I got 100,000 engraved on it. And I said to myself and I said to all my friends and family, I'm gonna give myself this bracelet on Valentine's Day. And this is around October, so about four months and I had 40,000 subscribers and I said on Valentine's Day, I'll give myself this bracelet to congratulate myself on getting 100,000 subscribers. And then what date did I hit 100,000 subscribers? February the 13th while getting my hair done ahead of a fashion week show. I think I vlogged it, you can probably see it. And then I also did the same for 250,000. I got one of my bracelets engraved with quarter of a million. And again, in December it was, there was a Christmas event, it was a fragrance event, and lots of other bloggers were there. I probably had like 190,000 subscribers at that time. And I said, guys, just write Josie250 in your diary on March the 15th next year. And I didn't tell them what it was for, but I, I got the bracelet engraved. So I said to everyone, okay, just put Josie250 in your diary on March the 15th. Thinking it's quite, it's, it's achievable, but it is an optimistic goal. And time went by, March appeared, and we were actually skiing at the time and of course, at about nine o'clock in the morning, over breakfast on March the 15th, I hit quarter of a million, 250,000 subscribers. And if you guys are into manifestation and the secret, that's how it works. You have to just have every faith that it's gonna happen. Um, and engraving milestones on Monica Vinita bracelets has always been my way of like cementing those goals. So. Obviously you don't have to do that. You can get um, your initials. I've got C and J on one of my beautiful pendants. 
This is another one that I haven't actually worn in a while because it's more of a rose gold colour, but this was a birthday gift from a few years ago and the matching bracelet, the Astra, you can of course change the charms around, put them on the necklace. This one just has a little J on it. Is it that side? This side. I just love mixing and matching the charms. You can put them all on one bracelet, make it like a full on charm bracelet. You can add the pearls. Everything is so customizable, personalizable. Um, and yeah, I've been a Monica Vinder fangirl for so many years. My oldest Monica Vinder pieces are probably, probably 10 years old. <laughs> I actually used to, because I was so in love with the brand when I used to work at the Reese flagship maybe eight years ago, I actually used to work as a mystery shopper for Monica Vinder. I don't know if they still do this, but you would get, I think it was a 50 pound voucher um, upon successfully completing a mystery shop for them. And I was just so obsessed with the jewelry. I wanted to have so much that I must have done one of these mystery shops like once a week to save up for my favorite pieces and I always love to gift Monica Vinodro as well so let me show you some of the pieces that I'm going to wrap later on today um, I always make a mental note if any of my friends compliment certain bits of jewelry and one of my friends this weekend was very much loving um, my ring so I have got a new one here for her I would say with these rings um, I would actually size down because it was the perfect size for my middle finger um, but I actually did buy it with the intention of putting it on this finger so yeah think about the sizing and then also this is a really good necklace for those that maybe already have a beautiful charm um, something really personal to add to so it's really kind of like a building block beginners necklace and the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous in these beautiful little burgundy wine colored pouches and boxes so those are some gifting bits and then a few new items to share with you okay so for the festive season I do like to go big and bold with my jewelry and I saw this on the website and I just thought that was rather fabulous they do the most amazing um, kind of crystal and stone bits Labradorite, rose quartz. I thought that was fabulous. I'm not sure what finger I wear it. I'm probably that finger actually. It's just big and crazy, and I love to make a I love to make a statement with my hand jewelry. So I thought that was fabulous. I've always loved. You could actually put. You can obviously buy charms as separate individual pieces. So if we go back to the necklace, the designs of these are so clever. So you can just like press in the hoop add in your little charm and Bob's your uncle there is your beautiful charm necklace and obviously you can personalize choose whatever charm is right for the recipient um, these are the earrings that match probably should have worn these for my birthday these are the earrings that match my ring absolutely gorgeous and then this necklace kind of matches with that flat chain style as well and you can also get the bracelet so they just go absolutely beautifully together I don't know how that would look with my watch maybe a little bit too much on that wrist but on this wrist I think that'll look absolutely beautiful and then obviously I've shown you some of my favorite slightly more dramatic pieces they do have some more classic bits as well so one of my favorite really simple necklaces which you just can't really go wrong with is this really delicate chain with the pearl on there I think that is so gorgeous this is one of those bits that you just couldn't really go wrong getting this as a gifting piece i'll leave all of these linked down below um i'm sure you'll find something that you just absolutely adore i just love so many of the designs of monica vinader it's a brand that is very close to my heart for those reasons and i just think their pieces are so timeless the fact that i've got bits here whether it's the signature bangle or the rings that i have had coming on 10 years that for me is a sign oh is this my hundred thousand no. That for me is a sign of a really good investment, good price per wear, and they don't date. The designs just don't date. These are the kind of things that I will wear year after year after year, and I'm sure your recipient will too if you decide to gift someone some Monica Vinader bits. So yes, this is a discount code. I'll leave the links to all of these bits down below. 20% off, um, and you've got a little bit of time until last orders for Christmas, but I would have a little browse and pick up the pieces that you love as soon as possible just to avoid any disappointment i'll leave all the bits that i'm wearing linked down below so now let's see if i can find this memory card because it would be nice to do a little drone drone flight over the hills because it is still so beautiful outside 
I used to use this all the time, but I haven't used it in quite a while. This is my DJI Osmo. Um, it's this tiny little camera, really great if you're like skiing or and doing anything where you might be a bit bumpy. Haven't used it in a while. I should probably use it more because it's really, really good. Um, Charlie got me this a couple of years ago. If you watched the Majev is it Majev? No, my Courcheval vlog. I filmed a lot of that on this, and luckily it has got a mini SD card in it. That is what I needed. Final piece of the jigsaw puzzle. So let's pop that in the drone um, and send it up. Well, as you might be able to see from the green <laughs> lawn behind me, as the sun came out, unfortunately, a lot of the snow has melted. And I've also realized that we are missing a cable for our drone, the cable that attaches the remote control to your actual phone. Can I find it? No. So I've ordered another one on Amazon. And upon doing that, sitting down on my laptop, I've somehow managed for two hours to just disappear, catching up on emails and things like that. This always happens. I make such wonderful plans for the day and then I sit down at my laptop and it just sucks away all the time. So I'm gonna make myself a nice, warm bowl of soup, take my laptop downstairs, do a little bit more editing down by the fire, and then we'll head out to Dalesford. Sadly it won't be quite such a snowy drive, but I can still pick up some nice bits, my chai latte, <laughs> basic blogger over here, ahead of my festive nail appointment later. I'm thinking I might go for white nails with gold snowflakes. I think that could be a nice way of manifesting, hopefully a little bit more snow. And bread for lunch and now enjoying a nice cup of coffee Charlie's about to light the fire but while he does that I have the wonderful job this afternoon of opening up some birthday gifts this is the last time I will talk about my birthday I promise but my party was on Saturday you'll have seen it in the last vlogmas <laughs> And I have been quite spoilt by my wonderful friends. I did open a couple of gifts up on the night, um, but I have this incredible selection to open up now. I've just started opening up this Dalesford hamper, which came from Ben and Robin. The top layer, we have got a tomato and chili jam and a rhubarb and ginger jam. Will we have those on toast or with like crumpets or something? So, rhubarb and? Rhubarb and ginger. And I mean, chili and tomato. You can have rhubarb and ginger on toast. The other one's definitely for cheese. Oh, but I think yes. both of them would be rhubarb and cheese. Oh my goodness. I think they're probably more for cheese. Delish. And then we have got the geranium hand balm, a sausage dog. This is very weighty, actually. This is going to be perfect for all the big chunky doors in this house. Dexty, Dexty's very intrigued. Sausage dog doorstop and a bottle of lube. And I thought that that was everything, but upon further rummaging, <laughs> there is more in here. My goodness. Evanlode Orchard Dry Cider. My goodness, that is a really beautiful bottle. <laughs> Dexy. We have got some seeds that I can plant in my greenhouse next year. Green Sprouting Calabrese. Oops. Uh, organic Chiogia Beetroot. And Red Oak Salad Lettuce. Amazing. And I think we also have a lovely little plant pot to start growing them in. I just used this bottle of lube as the tripod and filmed me unboxing the rest of the bits that were in here, but I think I forgot to press record. Whoops, a daisy. Um, but we have this gorgeous plant pot and the little stand that it goes on. Gardening twine, a vine tomato candle, um, and even this beautiful trowel. Such a lovely, thoughtful selection of goodies, and I'm equally excited about having this massive hamper, which is going to be perfect for storing our Christmas decorations in. actually remember this because I'd had so much rosé and espresso martini at this point but I remember Rory explaining um, this beautiful vase 
perfect for storing blooms and he said this bunch including eucalyptus um, little frosted berries is for spring and summer so that will look absolutely gorgeous in there and then this bunch here or two bunches rather frosted edition is for autumn and winter and we have got some beautiful it's like a giant teasel oh my gosh i was just going to look absolutely stunning i'll of course fan these out and do it properly but what a gorgeous addition to our entrance hall table or that table on the landing in this spectacular vase from rory and nathan as well as a box of my favorite la dorée macaron so look, Rory was explaining as they were leaving, Char, this is the autumn winter version and then in spring summer you swap in. Wow! How gorgeous is that? Do you know what though as well? So he's yeah. given you that beautiful vase, but do you know what? Yeah. I would almost, I know what he's saying, but I would put the other one in the Jonathan Adler vase that we have upstairs. This set? Well, either. Yeah. I'd, I'd have them both out. The Jonathan Adler vase is from Rory too. Yeah, I know, it's what I mean. It's so lovely! I'd have them both out, but I think Definitely. I know what you're saying, that one's more seasonal, but... I think this is from Freddie with the pink ribbon and a bottle of pink Tattinger champagne. Oh my goodness. Dexy's so intrigued. Oh, Prestige Rose Champagne. Pink, of course, from my pinkest pal. Oh, Smithson. Yeah, Smithson. Smythe or Smith? I think it's Smythe. Well, that is there, so amazing. lovely. And from Freddie, these beautiful. And JJ. And JJ, of course. Beautiful pink cards with these gorgeous pearly pink envelopes from Smythe. The most beautiful little note cards. How gorgeous is that? That looks better than Smith. Well done. Thank you. I already opened a gift from M and Matt which I'll show you upstairs, but we also have some hotel chocolat goodies. Oh my goodness. My favorite, oh wow. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Dipping adventure. Oh my gosh, so I think what you do is you melt some chocolates and then you can dunk in your marshmallows, your little breadsticks. <gasps> oh my gosh, I was making my mouth water just thinking about it. Wow. Oh, there's more. Oh my gosh. The most iconic chocolate collection. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to open that while sausage is here. And, oh my gosh, a giant version of our favorites. The milky 50% drinking chocolate from Hotel Chocolat. As you know, we are obsessed with the Velvetizer. Best hot chocolates in the world. Ooh, more sweet treats from Emily and James. This rose, which we drank at Chloe and Tom's wedding, and it is called Ultimate Provence. And I hear so many people talking about it, people in, in the know in the industry saying that this is upcoming one to watch rosé wise <laughs> ultimate provence I know, I'm and some treats from chabonel oh my goodness lightly dusted milk and pink truffles with milk chocolate butter oh my goodness i didn't know that chabonel walker is britain's first luxury chocolatier established in 1875 wow sir This is from Porter and Lumi. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, look! They've got a defender on the card. <gasps> Happy 30th birthday. <laughs> this is far too rude to read out on the internet. Love Lily Lydia, Ali, Lumi, and Porcini Mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> Now I don't know what is inside here, but I follow 
this account, Mrs. Alice on Instagram, and all her interior fits are so beautiful. Well, isn't that just the absolute sweetest? And I think there are two of these little candle holders. Well, what an absolutely perfect bundle. It feels very unceremonious showing you everything here on the floor. Inside this absolutely gorgeous box from Mrs. Alice, this beautiful selection of goodies for the table. We have got the pillar candles and these gorgeous green glass um, candle holders. They are just gonna look so perfect, especially on a spring themed table. These are almost like little soft velvet pumpkins, but they're such gorgeous colors. I feel like because they're velvet, they'll work for a festive table, but the green and white tones is gonna work all year round. These lovely little posy vases, when I have bunches of flowers and then a few of them start to die like this, I'll just take the remaining ones and spread them out in posy glasses and it's also perfect for a tablescape. And then these little mini topiary trees are almost like mini versions of the trees we've got outside the door, so they'll just be perfect for adding a little bit of height to the table. My goodness, I just realized at the time I need to get to my nail appointment otherwise i'm gonna be late but what an absolute treat i have been well and truly spoiled and i didn't even show you all the pieces my wonderful friend hannah managed somehow by some sorcery to get me my iconic tom ford whoops a daisy um lipstick color which is actually discontinued, so I, I don't know how she managed to find that. Um, and this fabulous photographic book all about Ibiza. Um, so I've got me some absolutely delicious 30 birthday um, cookies and some personalized gardening white leather and brown gardening gloves with my name on, so lovely and thoughtful. Everyone has just totally spoiled me and I hold my hands up and say I am the hardest person in the entire world to buy a gift for. I literally, well, and the easiest, anything sausage shop related, I'm, I'm happy with, um, but I'm feeling very, very spoilt. But yes, I will catch up with you at Haley's Nail Studio. Um, I think I'm gonna go white with gold snowflakes. I think that would look really, really lovely. So let's hope that she's got time to do a little bit of nail art, because I think that would look rather gorgeous. Stretching sausages. Did you miss your mummy? Did you miss your mummy? Oh, you're so lovely. Dickie, you let the fire go down. Very naughty. Well, back home again. My battery is just about to go, so I'm going to leave it charging while I have my chiropractor appointment. Lewis is here doing Charlie as we speak. I'm having Hermione Granger hair day, but my nails look so good. We have got a sprinkling of glitter coming from the cuticle on my fourth finger. Um, and then snowflakes on two other nails, different on each hand. Let me show you the other way around. Now this will focus before my battery goes, but we've got glitter on here, builder gel um, underneath to try and fix my broken nail. She put some glue on as well. And then the chrome, oh my goodness, snowflakes on that hand. And then different nails on this hand and we used I think it's called pina colada the base color from gel bottle and they're just so gorgeous so I've so. never asked Lewis before if I can film him but seeing as it's vlogmas I thought let's actually film my chiropractic appointment and here he is the man the legend uh so uh interview style me being Oprah why should a, a, a youngish person see a chiropractor why is it so important would you say I'm gonna flip the camera around so it's all on this. <laughs> Alright, so you've got a few reasons why I would probably go see a chiropractor as a young person. Mm -hmm. Number one, we're constantly like this, whether yeah. it's reading or texting or anything. Yeah. It's really common to have like really tight in the neck at the moment. Mm -hmm. Headaches, migraines, yeah. really tight shoulders. Yeah. So all the neck muscles going down into the shoulders. 
and then eventually we're kind of like stooping down and then you get upper back pain yeah then the lower back has to compensate so you end up really arching your back yeah it's a whole thing mm. what happens is that puts loads of strain on your nervous system okay the nervous system controls everything yeah what we do as chiropractors we remove that interference in the nervous system mm. it sounds quite elementary but we just push on the back and areas that are causing that interference mm. we remove the interference and then it frees up the body to then heal itself yeah so we don't do any healing the body heals the body itself. heals it but you almost like open the doors so that the body can exactly. can heal itself we just facilitate healing we remove that interference yeah there's so many things that when i'm lying down on the bed that i'm like oh i've felt this way this week or charlie's felt that way this week and you can relate it back to something that you can potentially work on with yeah. the nervous well, system the nerves come out at different points so if you've got digestive issues that week mm -hmm. I can usually tell that something's going on because the lower back yeah. is where the digestive nerves come out yeah. and they all connect into your tummy. Yeah. So if those nerves are irritated, then the tummy's not working properly. Mm -hmm. As a chiropractor, we remove that interference, it gives the tummy the ability to then thrive. Yeah, it's so clever. I learn something <laughs> fascinating from Lewis every single week. So maybe throughout Vlogmas we'll have learning things with Lewis every yes. every uh, Monday evening. <laughs> so I'm going to just leave the camera rolling because Lewis normally gives me a wonderful uh, kind of sports... Is it, would you say it's a sports massage kind of like thing? Like deep tissue... Deep tissue you massage. You certain areas for yourself. But yeah. General, like, we do a little bit of general everywhere anyway. But that's relax. kind of like level one, whereas what you do chiropractor is like level five, isn't it? A bit deeper, yeah. We look yeah. at what's going on underneath the surface. The bones. Massage looks at just releasing a lot of tension to mm. relax things off. Yeah. Chiropractic looks at something completely different about adjusting the cause and then not really much muscle stuff at all. Mm. Well, then, to be honest, before I met you, I didn't even know what a chiropractor did. So this yeah. might be quite interesting for people. Really. No, I think people don't realise that they need it until they speak to someone like yourself. But I'm going to leave the camera up on here. I'm going to leave it rolling so you guys can see me getting adjusted. That's the, the verb, isn't it? Yeah, it is getting, verb, getting adjusted. Okay, let's do it. Thanks, Doris. So you got your nails done? I did. I saw, um, saw Hayley. Lovely. She's on good form. I might not necessarily do like Ooh. like these adjustments. Okay, what's that? I've done other things to you before where I've like pushed on certain areas without like popping it or whatever. That's mm. more structural stuff. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Cool. All right. One hour or so later and my treatment is done. Did I just flash you a little bit there? <laughs> Maybe. One hour later and my treatment is done. You'll have probably heard my neck and my back getting clicked into the right position earlier. And then I just had a lovely hour long uh, deep tissue massage, which was heavenly. I have had a few of you guys message me about Lewis um, asking if he is available for new customers or clients rather here in the Cotswolds. Well, unfortunately, um, Lewis is not accepting any new clients here in the Cotswolds. However, he is now working in a clinic up near Lincoln. So if you are a little bit further north up towards Lincoln, then I'll leave the clinic that he's working at linked down below. And I would definitely recommend you book yourself in if that is um, local for you. So now that I'm in my relaxed state, there is only one thing that could improve this evening and that is a macaroni cheese. I haven't made myself a mac and cheese in so long. Yeah, it's actually been a long time. I did have mac and cheese on Saturday though at my birthday dinner, but it's never quite the same as when I do one at home. So that's what's on the menu for this evening. Mac and cheese is out of the aga and looking rather splendid. And I feel like I didn't really give my nails the moment of glory that they deserved earlier because my battery died. Is it going to focus now? So we have got the ombre glitter on the ring fingers and then I've got a couple of snowflakes in this gold chrome. Haha! -ha. And the base is a really, really beautiful light pink and on the other hand I went for different fingers with the snowflakes. My hand looks... I went for different... I went for different fingers with the snowflakes on this hand. Sorry, you're seeing all of my grubby salt. My hand looks very nude without my rings on. But yes, they look absolutely gorgeous. 
Well, the mac and cheese was a great success, but strangely, I was never joined by Dexy. His bed was empty. And we came in here expecting to find Dexy curled up in bed, and he wasn't here. And it was only when we turned the corner <laughs> that we see his lordship curled up in our towels that are about that to be washed. Daddy, don't. Don't oh, really, disturb me, it's Daddy. really comfy there. Oh, it's... Do you like it? <laughs> How You're funny. spectacular, Dexy. He Dexie. obviously likes more padding there, maybe. You're such a sweet Do you want a, a more padded bed? Boy. Should we get you a nice bed? Daddy, yes. I'd really like one from Cornish Bed Company. Daddy. Ideally from Natural Mat, Daddy. They're the best mattresses totally in the world. totally ridiculous. Come on, then. Let's go out for a walk. Oh. Oh, we'll go okay. for a walk. Silly doggy. I've forgotten all about it now that you've mentioned Trid study. <laughs> so you see, Daddy, in the future, if ever I get worked up, the best thing to just distract me is a nice treat. Key to my heart is Trids. Lovely little boy. There you go, boys. Night, night, babies. See you in the morning. Ah, uh, no, you stay in here, don't you, sweet bunny rabbit? Ah, ah, ah. See you in the morning, my boom boom.